Hi, welcome to BlackBerry Store. In this short video, I want to show you just a few aspects of BlackBerry Blend, particularly the two main parts of it that I use, which I find really convenient. The first one is the BBM and SMS service. And the second one is the file manager. So with BBM and with SMS, if we go and look at SMS for a second, SMS is going to show me all the text messages which are currently on my BlackBerry. So I can click here, I can click directly into any one of these text messages, or I can click down here, and it's going to take me straight in to where all my text messages are. So I can go through, look at text messages, and I can very easily reply to them as well. So I've got this one here from Marilyn, and I can go down here and say, thanks for the chat. I've got my emoticons here if I want them, and I can click send. Shortly, I'll get a little confirmation here with a tick to tell me the message has been sent. There it is. That's all done. And I just find it really convenient to be able to jump into those text messages and do it straight off my desktop rather than picking up my BlackBerry, taking it out of the charging pod, going into my text messages, doing a reply and putting it back again. It's much faster for me to do it this way. Same with BBM, you can jump in there, reply to your messages, and it's much faster than doing it on your handset. So there's the first one. There's a reply to my last text, just popped in there as you can see on the video. Now I want to show you File Manager. If I click down here on File Manager at the bottom, this basically just takes me to a place where I can see all the documents, music, videos, etc., that are currently on my BlackBerry. So I could have been out and about, taken a few photographs, and now I want to move them onto my PC, or I just might want to view them. So I'll come across to this one. And this is a picture of my cat, Max. And there he is, being his very usual active self. So with that picture now, I could simply close it, I can save it as something else and put it on my desktop, I can delete it straight from my phone, rename, properties, etc. And the other great thing is if I've got documents or pictures or videos on my desktop, I can simply just drag them from my desktop or a folder into File Manager and it will drop them straight onto my phone for me. So that's great. If you've been working on a document for work and you don't want to email it, you can just simply drag it onto File Manager, and as soon as you walk away from your desktop with your BlackBerry, it's automatically on there. So I've got it at the moment set up for working through Wi-Fi. It can also connect in other ways, but I find Wi-Fi the easiest for me. So they're the two things I wanted to show you. The fast way for you to reply to text messages when you're working on your laptop or your desktop, and also File Manager, just moving documents, pictures, and everything else between your desktop and your BlackBerry. I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to know a little bit more, keep watching the rest of the video so I can show you where you can go and grab a BlackBerry Blend from and how to put it on your desktop. And I'll just give you a few pointers to get you started so it's up and running. It's certainly worth investing in. It's one of my most favorite features using the new BlackBerry Classic. It also works on the BlackBerry Passport, the BlackBerry Leap, and the BlackBerry Porsche P9983. So it's any BlackBerry running BlackBerry 10.3 OS. So BlackBerry Blend is available for BlackBerry Passport, the Classic, the New Leap, and the Porsche 9983. So how do you set it up? Well, first of all, go to your web browser and let's Google download BlackBerry Blend and let's check the search results. Click search. The top link there that's come up, BlackBerry Blend, we'll click on that. Even though it's US, don't worry about that. And then we're onto the page. And just the two blue boxes towards the bottom, one's for PC, one's for Mac. So just choose which one's for you. Then you can agree to receive or decline marketing material and click download. Then you should get a window pop up asking you to save the file, which you can do. And that will bring it down onto your desktop for you. And you can follow the guide to install that software. 
When you're going through the installation program, you can choose to connect through Wi-Fi or through the USB cable. Personally, I prefer Wi-Fi. It just means it's a completely hands-free situation from there on in. But choose USB cable if you're more comfortable with that. After that, you can click on the Start button on your desktop. And right here, I can see Blackberry Blend. I'll click onto that. And here comes my dashboard. You also have on your handset the ability to connect and disconnect to BlackBerry Blend. So I've got a few screenshots here of my BlackBerry for you to have a look at. So on your BlackBerry, if you swipe down from the top of the screen coming downwards, so this menu appears, and you'll see in the bottom right corner there, I've got BlackBerry Blend highlighted with blue. So it's switched on and running at the moment. If I wanted to disconnect it, even though I'm very close to my laptop, I can quite simply just click on the blue area there and it'll switch off and it's just remember each time you walk away from your desktop you don't have to do anything with this as you walk away if you're connected by a cable obviously you'll unplug the cable and if you're on Wi-Fi as soon as you're out of reach of your laptop it will disconnect anyway just think about if anyone's ever using your desktop and your BlackBerry Lens is connected and you get a personal text message or something show up it can come up on the screen so if you've got someone else using your laptop, you might want to disconnect it before they kind of take over. Finally, if you get stuck, go to this URL. Everything's on the page that you'll need or get in touch and we can help you too. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it useful.